Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can run DeepSeek on your local computer. DeepSeek has taken OpenAI on the storm here. So DeepSeek have published their models at Olama and Hugging Face and they have made all these models as an open source and their model quality and the performance of their models are actually competing with the OpenAI's best model. So as of now, I can say that DeepSeek has provided the best model and at the very low cost actually. All right, basically at very less number of parameters, you can achieve here a very high performance. Let's go ahead and see how you can run these model on your local computer. We will be using here Olama. So you have to come here at olama.com and then you have to download your Olama and Olama will be acting here as a server. So select your operating system. I'm using here a Windows. So I select here a Windows and here it is going to download it. All right. So once it is downloaded, then I'll show you how you can install it. In meantime, while it is downloading, let me show you how you can uh, get started with the DeepSeek like a chat GPT. You know how to work with the chat GPT like chatgpt.com and uh, that's how you can get started with the chat GPT. And here in the DeepSeek, what you have to do here, so you need to click on start now. Otherwise, you can directly reach out to chat.deepseek.com. All right. So it is like the chat GPT here it asks about, uh, I mean here, here it asks that for the login. So I click on login with the Google. I log in with my account here and I should be able to see here at output something like this. So here I come now I can see here, let's say hi, I say hi and it should be telling me that hello, how are you? I can ask the question, how are you? All right, so these are like, you know, the beginner questions. But later on, I'll be showing you how you can ask these questions on your local computer using the Olama. So I have downloaded here the Olama. Let's go ahead and see here. So the Olama has been downloaded here. Let's go ahead and run this Olama. Olama setup.exe on my Windows. It might take a while to install this. All right. I say, okay, next. And thereafter it says that, okay, the Olama is already running. So I just want to close that application. So basically I already have Olama in my computer, but now I just want to, you know, reinstall my Olama. Other than that, if you have a GPU in your computer, then you have to also install the PyTorch as well. So you need to come here at the PyTorch and then you have to also make sure that you have installed PyTorch GPU. Otherwise, there would be a problem. I mean, your Olama might not use GPU in that case. So you can select the, you know, the particular version of the, uh, the PyTorch. So I select here stable, Windows, P, Python and the CUDA. And then you can just simply run this to install your PyTorch with the CUDA. I already have PyTorch, so I'm just uh, ignoring that. So while Olama is getting installed, let me just show you that DeepSeek model. You need to come here at the search model. Now you can clearly see here there is a DeepSeek model. I just click on that and thereafter you can simply see here that DeepSeek provides you 1.5 billion, 7 billion, 8 billion, 14 billion and so many, you know, the other types of the model. And they have a 7 billion model which comes in 4.7 gigabyte and currently I'm using 6 GB GPU memory. And then I have here 1.5 billion model. It is very small. It can run on mobile devices. So it has 1.1 gigabyte here. As you scroll it down, you will see that how you can run DeepSeek. So you can use something like this to run your DeepSeek. This is quite large model, so it will not fit in my computer. I'll be using 1.5 billion or, or I will be using a 7 billion model. Then you can scroll it down. You can see here all other various versions. And then finally, you can see here a benchmark. So in the benchmark, you will see DeepSeek is competing with the OpenAI O1 model. So the DeepSeek has like taken this AI model uh, as of now uh, by its storm here. All right. Having said that, let's go ahead and come back. And we see, we see here that Olama is up and running. So we have installed Olama. Now what you need to do here, open your terminal and just 
try to run your DeepSeq model. So I'm going to run here 1.5 billion model. So I just copy this from here and then I come here and just paste it here. Ulama run DeepSeq R1 1.5 billion here. All right. So it is going to first of all pull this model on your local computer. Depending on your internet speed, it might take some time. Excellent. So this model has been downloaded here in my local computer and it is doing a final verification. Everything is done and it is up and running. I say hi, think, think, think. How can I assist you today? Perfect. Now let's say I ask here, what can you do for me? Let's say something like that. I ask, it says that, okay, I can do all of, a lot of things here. Thereafter, I ask that here, can you do coding for me and it should be telling us that yes i can do perfect let's go ahead and try to ask some coding question so i ask here that can you write a code for streamlit chat bot using ulama and uh, langchain let's say and just try to see that whether it is able to uh, write a code or not and i say uh, i write here in python and here it is thinking and wow this is awesome now you can see here that first it says you need to install the langchain thereafter from langchain.llms import openai so this is something quite old seems like so it is uh, it is trained on old data right now langchain have uh, changed how we import openai or any other things and then import openai and so many other stuff and here it asks that okay here is llm equal to the openai and these things so these i would say that not exactly the correct but overall the concept what i see here is moreover seems like correct how it is explaining us that how we need to do this let's go ahead and ask the same question what i asked here the same question on deep seek chatbot here so basically i have here deep seek chatbot and then i ask this question here and then see what answer i'm gonna get here and at the same time i'm gonna ask here at the chat gpt and then see uh, what answer I'm gonna get here. So right now if I see here that I'm getting here a better answer as compared to what I had got from the 1.5 billion model and it is pretty much understandable that DeepSeek is running here a larger model and we ran there a very small model like uh, 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 the deep seek 1.5 billion model but now i can see that here it is uh, you know the working perfectly seems like all right the moreover uh, it has written a quite good code okay the by first hand i mean uh, by first sight if i see that it seems mostly correct although they are using here a older version of the line chain library so with this i can say that currently line chain uh, does not support all of these things but overall seems like they have written the code the similarly if i come here at the streamlit chatbot here and then i see here streamlit uh, sorry here i come at the chat gpt actually so they have written here a streamlit application and seems like your chat gpt output and your deep seek output is matching quite a lot and moreover i can say here that deep seek and chat gpt is competing with each other here other than that i see here st.experimental they have uh, used there and they have used st.session state so using a session state okay seems like they have also used here so the moreover seems like they are competing with each other and it's quite good to see this Overall, if you are looking for a complete code, how to work with the chatbot, so you can come to my repository, Lakshmi Merit Ulama Chatbot. So at the Ulama Chatbot, I have provided here the codes, how you can use simple chatbot, chatbot with the history and how you can chat with your PDF and you will be using Ulama behind the scene. You can just change your model name, like here you can provide the DeepSeek R17 billion or any model depending on your computer resource and you can get started with this. Now, now I hope that it is pretty much clear to you that how this DeepSeq is working, how you can import DeepSeq in your local computer and then how you can develop local LLM application actually. So the application part you can get from my repository. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. I'll see you in next one.